I realized that it is a Lutheran university and the whole uh, Lutheran religion was kind of new to me coming in. But it's one of those things where you kind of surround yourself with and, and, and you learn a lot from it, regardless if, you, if you're if you in that, that type of religion or not. I grew up in the church and through life circumstances that, that began to, to unfold in my own life, I kind of started to shut God out a while, for a while. And it was at the end of my the end of my seventh grade year, going into my eighth, going into eighth grade and middle school, I stopped doing the church. I stopped. We stopped going to church on Sundays, and throughout my entire high school, I kind of, uh, I had this kind of anger towards God, and so I kind of shut God out. And now I'm starting to try to re redo that ground, re come up with that ground with God. And in terms of social aspect on campus, there is, there's just as many people who are just as confused as you as there are the people who are heavily involved with the Lutheran denomination. And that creates a, a it gives you a chance to be, surround yourself with those who are Lutheran as well as those who aren't and allows you both to grow together as, as, as one community. I remember in the beginning of the semester, of our second semester in, in, in the spring, and there was a couple of, of friends that I met uh, through, a, through a class. And we had um, decided that we wanted to try the, the Celebrate, which is a, a campus, uh, uh, religious type of, of celebration that they held on Wednesday nights. I think it's about nine o'clock at night. They go in. I, there's a lot of worship you're allowed to do. I think there's some time for prayer. And we went there, and it was it was it was weird in terms of not being there before. Everybody was really doing their own thing. And as you walk in and you see these people um, in the the traditions or the rituals that they were doing, you kind of feel like you're kind of invading, and you're kind of like an outsider. And in a sense, when you're not participating in what these people are, you kind of feel like you're the one that doesn't belong. But it was almost like they, were, they, they welcomed us there. And it was weird, and I can kind of parallel this a little bit. The welcome that I got from the people who were there as I was going in was so, so, so similar to the welcome I got when I came here the beginning of the, when I first arrived at Valpo. And the amount of passion they had, you know, coming in on Wednesday nights at nine o'clock for someone's kind of late, you know, we have school and, and things of that nature, but yet still going in there and still being passionate about, about what they're doing and what they're celebrating and knowing the meaning behind why they're there. I think that was probably, it was, it was eye-opening. And since then, we've gone back multiple times. We've, we've created friendships from that organ, from the um, Celebrate group. My the theology professor had brought up a question regarding the end of the, the end of days and, and how the book of Revelation is often is oftentimes viewed as a book of of turmoil, uh, distress and, and things like, things of that nature. Whereas we should be looking at it as a message of hope and joy. And I remember my professor asking me directly, um, have you ever thought about the end of the at, the at about the end of time? And I remember just sitting there and said and, and, and just blatantly, I said, No, I have not thought about the end of times. And and I feel like my professor at that point was asked, wanting to know a little bit more, like, okay, can you give us an example, or why, why have you not, or, or, or anything of, the, of that nature. And I just remember telling him, I said, you know, this is all new for me. I said, in terms of uh, thinking about the new things or, or these things that you're just now beginning to tell me, I have not thought about them. And I don't think I'm ready. And he said, after taking this class, because this was at the end of the semester, he says, have you started to think about it anymore? And I said, yeah, I have. And, it, and that, the realization that came to me was all the experiences that led up throughout the first and second semester in terms of the religious re encounters that I had through Celebrate, through the theology class, through the fact that there are a lot of people on campus who are involved in the religion, I was able to finally come to terms with maybe, and just maybe, I'm starting to understand where people who are in the religious aspect are coming from.